Honey, why do you call him Drop Dead Fred? Because that's his name, Daddy. Like many small children, Lizzie had an imaginary playmate. Drop Dead Fred is going to teach me how to cook today. Someone she could talk to. Sugar? Yeah. <gasps> Someone she could share with. Oh, Grandma Bun! Someone who would never let her down. No more Drop Dead Fred! Period! Now Lizzie is all grown up. To us. And when her perfect life... Us. ...fell apart... Charles, I lost my money, my car, my husband. She didn't get mad. Drop dead Fred. She got Fred. Ah! Where's the face? What, who dropped dead? <laughs> Drop dead Fred is this imaginary friend that I had as a child, and he's back. Everybody has strange friends, even you must. But all mine are alive. Well, that's not saying much. <laughs> it's no wonder Charles left you. Haven't got a husband, got a stupid haircut. You see, you just don't know how to make a marriage work. Well, let's get Charles back then. I'll help you. Let's just behave ourselves. <laughs> get up. No, bandit. He's back. Yeah, well, what's wrong with that? Nothing, except you're ruining my life. To show her, no matter how bad things look now, <laughs> they can always get infinitely worse. Drop Dead Fred was way out of control. Have I got him? You're dead, little man. There's nobody there. It's because he's invisible, idiot. I don't want an imaginary friend anymore. Right, that's it. I hate you. Ow! Goodbye forever. Drop Dead Fred. Well, what does that taste like? Every child should have one, especially when she grows up.